Okay, everybody, today is a good day because today is Grand Stone Day. So as you probably know, because you clicked on this video, I got a pair of loafers for the first time. The uh, Traveler loafer in Storm Suede. Yeah, I believe so. We're going to be opening it today with this knife I forged about, I don't know, a year ago, two years ago. Uh, didn't do a great job. It's not very sharp, but I made it. So we're going to see if this will do the trick. Let's hope. And it doesn't have a very sharp point, but yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, so guys, my first pair of Grant Stone boots, which I did a small video on early on in the channel's life with bad audio and bad video quality, um, are the diesel boots in Navy Chrome Excel. Very cool boots, big fan of those. They're a little hard to match, but, um, but they're still very cool. So this is interesting. This is just one of those things that just shows you attention to detail. The box is slightly bigger than this box, so they put a little piece of cardboard in there to keep them from moving around. That's... I mean, honestly, that's the kind of attention to detail that everyone should have, but very few do. Traveler Penny Storm Suede 10. Hopefully 10 is the right size. Planning on wearing these sockless in the summer. So hopefully my foot will stretch him a bit. Rupello Suede. I believe that means that it's a little bit uh, water resistant. Carefully select calf skins and worked. Blah, 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 blah. You can read that. Okay. Charles F. Stead, very good. That's neat. I don't think I've ever seen a card included in something like this where it talks about the leather. That's pretty cool. Thank you for purchasing with the signature. Don't know if that's Wyatt or who. Still cool. Postcard. Talking about initial fit. Pretty boots. Packing slip. Don't need to see that. And of course, Grant Stone comes with a shoe bag. Nice piece of foam separating both. Each is in their individual shoe bag, which is exactly why you pay this kind of money, right? Ooh, yes. Look at those. Those are absolutely killer. Yeah, a little bit of splotch in there, no big deal. As you're staining the bottom of that leather. The stitching, golly. Yeah, after looking at some uh, less expensive footwear recently, it's nice to get back to just how nice the construction is on these Grant Stones and, and other boots, you know, in this price range. My Truman's I just got recently, very nice. But yeah, that's... And we're, we're live here, looking at it together for the first time. Really nice, really nice. I don't see any big, big scuffs on the suede because they've been nicely protected in their shoe bags, as any suede product should be, in my opinion. It's the interior, nicely, nicely lined there with that lighter color. Very cool. Yep, I'm big fan straight away of these. All right, let's keep going. Foam. Very good. All right, I was hoping I'd get another one of these. So Grant Stone gives these uh, shoehorn slash bottle openers in, I'm assuming, every purchase. They work really well for both bottle opening and shoehorning. As you would expect. All right, here is Loafer. Numero dos. All right, looks. Pretty much like the first one. And there's my humidifier kicking on. It's very dry in Colorado in the winter. So we run a humidifier all the time just to keep the humidity about 20 to 24 percent so that we don't our skin doesn't crack up. Golly, yeah, these are these are awesome. I hope these fit. Uh, if they don't, I'll return them and get a ten and a half. But uh, yeah, so that's the unboxing, guys. Um, look for a longer term review at some point in the near future. Thanks for watching.